Hey friends, for those that have been working from home, I think many of us can understand that we've maybe been working longer hours. Um, we're fortunate enough, of course, to be able to work, but with everybody still at home, less traveling, people are more available to work, so we end up all working a little bit more. This video, guys, I figured I'd show you what I do to keep active, even while I'm working longer hours. Um, and of course, also cover things that you do to keep sane after work is done. <laughs> if you guys don't know me, my name is Kia. I'm the creator of Do It Well. I make crave-worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls and bread. And I just love to eat, laugh, and work them. <laughs> If you guys have been following me, you know that I work in tech and I work with people around the globe from Germany to other parts of Europe to Australia, the US, etc, etc. That means that I end up waking up earlier in the morning to have 5-6 a.m. meetings, work throughout the day, and then just try to get a lot of stuff done. But that also means that I'm non-stop kind of working in front of my desk. This is the setup I have. It's a standing desk. Luckily for me, I have a standing desk so I can just keep my body kind of a little bit more in motion throughout the day and sit down if I feel like I'm too tired to stand up all the time. But there are other things that I do that throughout my day to keep me moving. I start my mornings by having a walk with Darla. We do about a mile, but lately I think she's been tired of like walking so much and she walks super slow. So I'll start my mornings with a walk. Um, it depends on my meeting. So sometimes I'll have it before my first meetings of the day or after my first meetings of the day. Um, and I'll try to get maybe 30 minutes in or 20 minutes, depending just on my meeting schedule. Um, and then in the middle of the day, I try to get another walk in. And then at the end of the day, after work is done, me, my husband and puppy, Darla, go on a walk together for probably about an hour. So that's just an easy way to get movement in as well. If I'm doing some long reading or I'm in a meeting where I'm just listening but not participating, but I have to be listening, of course, you have to be listening when you're in a meeting. Uh, I will use my resistance band or my 15 pound dumbbell or even lighter than this. I never use heavier weights while I'm actually working because you can't really focus on your form too much. But I'll do things like using my resistance band. I'll just put my resistance band on and let's say I'm just reading a really long email or typing away at something that's easy for me to think about. I'll just be doing kickbacks with my resistance band. Or I'll do side to side and that'll get your glutes going. Or I'll even do just air squats if I'm reading something. I could even be in a meeting where I'm just listening in and just doing arm curls with my 15 pound dumbbell. I could be doing lateral raises. Shoulder presses. Front raises. Or if you don't need to be in front of a computer, just walk around. I also spend some time doing just some stretches, easy stretches. Nothing too complicated. And even just to relax, I play with Darla a little bit. So the point is just to keep your body moving even when you're doing something as stagnant as joining a meeting or um, typing an email or reading a long email, reading documentation, those kind of things. It doesn't seem like a lot of movement, but it adds up during the day. The other thing that I like to do guys is I like to put a, a timer on my computer to just remind me to actually take breaks because it's easy for me to get lost in the day and just keep going for hours and hours. So I put a timer on, sometimes it's 30 minutes, sometimes it's an e every hour, just to remind myself either to get up and walk and move Maybe do some push-ups, um, maybe just take a bio break if you haven't taken one, drink some water, keep, keep some sort of movement going. And after the day is done, you have to unwind, right? So hubby and I tend to, I typically cook dinner um, before or after the walk and then have dinner. We kind of just sit and watch TV in front of the couch. Um, and we've been watching things like Dave on Netflix, totally funny show if you want something that's comical, but also about a guy that is awkward, but is actually a really good rapper. You should watch that show. We've watched Dead to Me. <laughs> Extraction is the movie. But I also asked you guys on Instagram, 
some things that you enjoy doing to kind of unwind or have fun or just deload. Krishna Gilspie says watching Trevor Noah. You know, I've never watched Trevor Noah. I think he's the host of The Tonight Show, but now I gotta give that a shot. The Vegan Claw goes for morning walk walks with the pup too. Hey, puppy time. Jerza Delphian underscore vegan. Went kayaking. I wanna go kayaking. Can you take me kayaking with you? I promise I'll only tip us over three times. I can kind of swim though. I'm, I'm a decent swimmer. My coach Danny Vegan Proteins watches comedy stand up. I don't know about you guys, but I like the corny, like corny comedians, the ones that talk about the most random things that other people probably don't find funny, but I find it funny. Alex Laelson likes to read and work out. This is her book that she's reading, the book that she's reading right now. Life Balance likes to watch Korean drama. You know, I used to like Korean drama when I was younger. I don't know why I stopped watching it. Oh, it's probably because while I'm watching TV, I usually have my laptop in front of me working. I'm always multitasking. But if you guys have other ideas of what to do while you're at home, to just unwind, have fun, do whatever, put it in the comments below. I'd love to kind of give your ideas a try too. Okay, friends, that's it. I figured I'd just share some quick tips with you on how to keep moving because just because we're still isolated at home or even if you work from home, it doesn't mean you have to be stagnant all the freaking time, right? <laughs> I hope that was helpful guys. If you like this video, if you think I should make keep making content like this, give this video a thumbs up. If you really like this video, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding. Every time this baby girl posts a video. Alright guys, see you.